Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be covering problem 11 of CSUN's Financial Accounting Gateway Lab exam practice. So this is a very fun problem because we're going into something a little more challenging, double declining method. So double declining depreciation is a little more complex than straight line depreciation, but you just follow a simple format and you'll be all good to go. So let's read the question. Problem 11. A company purchased a POS cash register on January 1st for $5,400. This register has a useful life of 10 years and a salvage value of $400. What would be the depreciation expense for the second year of its useful life using the double declining balance method? And then it gives us a variety of answers. Uh, there's no guess in here. You just have to get the right answer. And so let's do the calculation. So I color coded everything and I hope that helps. For, uh, for those of you who appreciate ticking in time. So we can see here that there is 10 years of uh, useful life. So we can assume and calculate that every year we use about 10% of its useful life, or we exactly 10%. So one divided by 10 gives us that 10%, as we can see right over here. In straight line method, we take the 5,400 orig original value and subtract out the salvage value to get uh, the $500 or the 5,000. And then we would multiply that by the 10% to get our straight line depreciation. But this isn't straight line. This is double declining balance depreciation. So for double declining balance depreciation, we take 10% and multiply it by two to get 20%. And then we're not going to use residual value uh, with and include it at all. We're going to take uh, the original value and include and just keep uh, whatever the residual value is. We're not gonna subtract it out or do anything. So 20% times the 5,400 will give us our first year of depreciation, which is 1,080. Then we have to take the beginning year of our first year, which is 5,400, and subtract out the 1,080 uh, to get our beginning of our second year balance, which is gonna be 4,320. We're gonna multiply that by our 20% double declining balance in order to get our second year depreciation, which is going to be the answer. So as you can see, it's a step-by-step -step process. Uh, you have to make sure that you don't subtract the salvage value or residual value. You need to uh, keep that in there which is very different than straight line depreciation. You also need to make sure that you calculate out the percentage, not a value. So take the useful life, take one over it, and then multiply that by two. And then you have to go step by step uh, and multiply whatever the beginning value is times whatever uh, your percentage is times two. So make sure you go step by step and you'll get the answer. So as you can see, the answer is C, $864. I hope that helps, and I hope to, you enjoy more and more videos. Have a great day, and good luck on your exam.